We got some bacon for you, Alaska. The windshield wiper man. Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our road trip. So far, we've made stops in Sacramento, Bend, and Joseph, Oregon, and it's been amazing. We've been soaking up all the nature, exploring new places, and just enjoying being on the road. If you caught the end of the last video, I talked a bit about how this trip has been making me realize just how stressed I was at home. Between work, co-parenting, thinking about the future, and all the everyday stuff, it just felt like life was piling up. I didn't even realize how much I needed this break until we got out here. For this next part, we're driving through the beautiful Lolo Pass in Montana and ending up at a little cabin in Victor, Montana. I'm really trying to stay present and just take things one day at a time, even though the stress is still there. It's crazy how much a change of scenery can shift your mindset though. So I'm excited to share the rest of this adventure with you and let's get back on the road. I kinda wanna go in the water, but it's gonna be cold. For any parents anxious to take their toddler on a road trip, what I did was I brought a basket of toys and books that I put next to Alaska so she could stay entertained. I also brought lots of snacks and milk in a cooler. The driving days were about six to seven hours and she was very content up until the last hour usually. I know all babies are different, but I must say I was very pleasantly surprised by how chill she was. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Oh, there's a deer up there. Hi, deer. Hi, turkeys. Wow. Cool. <laughs> you even have a dog kettle, look. Oh, nice, June. That's where we're keeping you tonight. <laughs> She's like absolutely hot. Cool. Nice. We're in the mountains. Look, there's binoculars. What do you have there? What book did you bring? Bitch. Old Yeller. Oh, that's a sad ending. That's a fire. This is who Johnny Cat is named after. And that's June Carter. Okay, this was definitely my favorite Airbnb of the whole trip. This place was amazing. It was super private, tucked away in the trees, which made it feel like we were in our own little world. Inside, the decor was perfect. Every corner had great books, beautiful art, and it was just very cozy. But what made it really special for me was the record player. And then there was a CD player and a whole collection of DVDs. It felt very nostalgic and it just added this layer of warmth to the place. It was clean, comfortable and quiet with stunning views all around us. Um, honestly, half the enjoyment of this whole trip has been finding and staying in Airbnbs like this one. 
I spent a lot of time researching, making sure I found the perfect spots for us, knowing that our schedule would revolve around Laska's naps and sleep. She usually naps from 11, 11 a.m. till about 2 p.m., so I wanted to make sure we were staying in places we'd actually enjoy hanging out at during that time. This place was exactly what we needed. It made all those quieter moments just as special as the adventures outside, and it was the perfect little retreat during our trip. <laughs> Somehow I remembered to bring June's coyote vest, but I forgot Laska's hiking backpack carrier that I usually have with me at all times. So that was kind of a bummer. There were some hikes that we weren't able to do because the terrain was just too rough for the stroller. So yeah, definitely bring one of those backpack carriers. Laska's in a teepee. Laska's in a teepee. This is gonna be fun. We had such a relaxing time in Montana. We stayed at the cabin for two nights and slept amazingly well. The first night we grilled steaks outside and then the second night I made tacos. It was such a cozy, peaceful spot. I'm already planning to go back someday. After that, our next stop was Twin Falls, Idaho, but we didn't spend too much time there. From that point on, the rest of the trip was really about breaking up the long drives so Alaska wouldn't get too restless. But even with the shorter stops, I made sure we stayed at Airbnbs that were super nice so we could still make the most of our time there. Go, there's Yellowstone Dutton Ranch. Wow. Pretty. Yeah. Here, something very exciting just happened. My LA Times article just came out. You. I feel like I should be a hundred years old, she says laughing. Yep, I do. Look at the cute picture. Oh my god, this is so sweet. That's you. That's in the bus. This is so sweet. There's us making pancakes. Hey. That's June. So awesome. This makes me really happy. I really Ooh. needed this. This is such a boost. Oh, I hope I get some orders from this. Thank you, LA Times. Thank you, LA Times. You're famous and you're not even two. Don't let it get to your head. Oh! Oh, girly, we're getting orders. <gasps> we're getting so many orders. Hell yeah. Thank God. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> one more day of road tripping, okay? Well, two more driving days. But one more night. One more night. Going to Utah. We are almost there, yeah. We are almost there. Alpaca. Is that a 
an alpaca or a llama? I'm in heaven. This is my inspiration. Oh my gosh. Ugh. You want to continue your, your wonderful feeling, you can go and they say it's closed, but come in, we trust you. So you oh, I, I can be trusted. Look, Alaska. You got a little typewriter. <gasps> wow. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, they have pasta. I can make more pasta than that. Here, we didn't even need to go out. So how are you going to pay for it? Venmo. I'm going to sign up for their first time here. Yes. I love it here. I love it here. I love it here. I see your tongue, too. That's your cheese, Laska. This Airbnb farmhouse in Cedar City, Utah was so sweet. The farm made it super special and gave me a lot of inspiration for my garden at home. I definitely think it's time to think about getting some chickens too. She's a swinging girl. She's a swinging girl. Swinging, swinging, swinging girl. She's a swinging girl. <laughs>